Welcome to the Miller Library Virtual Storytime, Hummingbird by Nicola Davies, illustrated by Jane Ray. Ruby-throated hummingbirds are tiny. They weigh less than a nickel, but every spring they fly up to 2,000 miles from Mexico and Central America to spend the summer in the United States and Canada where they build their nests and have their babies. In the fall, they fly all the way back to spend the winter where it's warm. Granny's in her garden with her granddaughter. Keep still, she whispers to the little girl, and they'll come. The child holds her breath, and they do come. Their feathers flash in the slants of light. Their wings make the sound of their name, beating as fast as thought. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, or zoom, zoom, is the word for hummingbird in several languages used in South and Central America. They'll soon be gone, Granny says, flying north like you. The girl looks sad, so Granny kisses her and says, Maybe they'll visit you in New York City. Later, on the plane, the girl wonders how something so small could fly so far. Down on the dark sea, a sailor has company at last. A hummingbird is sleeping on the rigging. At dawn, it wakes up and flies away, tiny and fearless heading for the land. Out on the veranda, everything is ready. The nectar feeders are filled and tiny flies buzz in the bug dispenser. Just after dawn, the hungry guests arrive for breakfast. Spring sweeps up country. Flowers open, bee balm and scarlet sage, trumpet honeysuckle, and cardinal flower. Insects zoom. The hummingbirds ride the green wave, zigzagging from one pool of buzz and blossom to the next. A young man sets aside his school books when a hummingbird won't show flowers with a bumblebee. He laughs aloud and texts his mother a photo of the little bird, too angry for its size. This family leaves their dinner on the table and goes outside to see hummingbirds sipping from the feeder they made out of a plastic cup filled with sugar syrup. Birds know exactly where they're going, and when they get there, they settle in. The male chases other hummingbirds away so that his family doesn't have to share the nearby flowers. The female makes a nest with lichen. Spider silk and thistle down. It holds her two eggs tight, but stretches as the babies grow and grow and grow. In late summer, a little girl is walking, head down, in the park. There's something in the grass, white, too small to cap her littlest finger. There's only one thing it could be. Somewhere up among the trees and green, there's been a visitor from Granny's garden. Days are getting shorter. Soon the bugs and nectar will be nipped by frost. Hummingbirds must fly south. The trip is long and hard for such small bodies. 
and many of them won't reach their destination. Granny's in her garden with a package in her lap. Inside's a tiny eggshell wrapped in cotton balls, a letter, and a newspaper clipping. As she reads about how hummingbirds have nested for the first time in Central Park, there's a telltale sound around the flowers. Zoom -um. Zoom -um. And jewel feathers flash in the light. Oh, that's beautiful. Thanks for listening. See you next time.